yo, what's going on? It's Sean the Butcher here with Vertebrae 33 for another episode of In Madness Pod. This is 17.5. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for checking out our Killer Clowns special. If you have, um, we have done so many kick-ass movies just looking through our Apple playlist or our Spotify playlist of seeing all the movies we've covered and just putting new people onto these thanks to all of our guests who have promoted this show panic room toys and chef brian from mission sandwich um and uh brandon from talking bay 94 pod uh, it's great to have in madness monday and everybody listening and joining along and uh i i love in madness monday and i love when we drop these 0.5 episodes what about you vertebrae absolutely how you doing, Sean? Everything okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, we're we're you're... back with it, with the same shirts we've been wearing for the last three weeks. You'd swear we don't shower. <laughs> uh, we had a fun time doing our Killer Clowns episode, uh, and I really, I like I said, we're not always going to love each other's movies. And, yeah, I do love the year. But you making it sound like I like was like angry. No, was no, not at all. Not, not at all. I just, I just, I wanted to gauge it. I was, I was hoping I'd flip you like you did with me with Color Out of Space when I was like, mm-hmm. this is my new top whatever. Right. Uh, and, and you were just like, yeah, these clowns, just killing people. What, what are they doing? What are they doing? I think, I think you were secretly hoping that I'd be like, that's an hour and 26 minutes of my life that I'll never get back again. That's. <laughs> That's what I think you were hoping. So it could be the first ever angry, controversial episode. I was waiting on that. No, we'll probably get that for our next episode, honestly. Uh, But welcome, welcome to our point five of In Madness Pod. This is our special that we like doing in between episodes when we don't have to focus on a movie. We could focus on video games or we could focus on art or we could focus on toy photography like we did mike from panic room toys he sent me all those amazing pictures of his toy room which i have posted all over our in madness socials make sure if you're a nerd like myself like vertebrae which is probably why you're listening to this podcast or maybe why you've discovered this podcast you should also follow our buddy mike from panic underscore room underscore toys on instagram but uh i'm gonna shut up and and i'll throw it to you vertebrae so what did what was the first thing you wanted to get into for our point five well, the first thing is just a cheap plug. If you're if you follow us on uh, with Apple, give it leave us a five star review, write something up in there. That would be fantastic. On Spotify, you can't write a review, but you can give a rating. I went in there recently to look and see we had all these like five star or whatever high ratings on there. But and the reason I say that is because it just helps make the show bigger and more people listen and participate. And tell um, your friends. Yeah. Tell your friends about the show. Follow us on the socials at In Madness Pod, uh, In Madness Pod at gmail.com. Subscribe to the YouTube page. Check out the In Madness playlist. Tons of great music, things to make you laugh, smile, cry, get angry. Tons of awesome mm. stuff from movies that we have talked about on this show. And, and and so the first thing I wanted to bring up to you is I was uh, the other day was watching Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and I was this many years old when I realized that that's the menu. How how <laughs> do you put these two things? Okay. Are, are we going to fall down? We're going to fall pe- down rabbit hole. Pre- okay, yeah, so, but wait. So if you haven't, there's listened- more. Yeah. If you have exactly, if you haven't listened to our menu episode or seen the movie The Menu, go see the movie The Menu. Um, it's a fantastic film. Our menu episode, um, we've got Chef Brian on there, it's amazing. Um, go back and check out the back catalog. But I'm watching it and I realize that that uh you know Charlie is the Anya Taylor Joy character, right? Margot, and and she's there at the restaurant, which in this case is the chocolate, chocolate factory, <laughs> with with all of so it's food based. Let's back up. It's food based, which the menu is a special invite, mm-hmm. a special invite, um, <laughs> and th- there's a whole bunch of people there who don't deserve it. Characters don't yep. appreciate it for wow. what it is, <laughs> right? And then horrific things sort of happen to them separately as they go along. And the only difference would be if Margot inherited the restaurant. 
right? They, it gets blown up instead, and she makes it out because of who she is. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen this movie, I just killed it for you. But, you know, and I was just like, I couldn't believe it. This is Charlie and the Chocolate. So Factory. Willy Wonka's chef, Slovak. Yes. Uh huh. And the Oompa Loompas are all his other chefs. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Just, uh, I don't know. I didn't even want to look it up or Google it to see if I'm sure someone else came to this thinking. But like, I thought of my own, and I think I may have texted you a little bit. Saying like I just saw this and was thinking. I was like, save it. save it for point five. Don't don't yeah. tell me anything. Yeah, yeah. And when we're done recording or tomorrow or something, I'll probably look it up and see if there's more to it than that. But on the surface, I was like, holy moly! At exactly what point in the movie did it hit you? I think we we're a few kids into getting stuff happening to them. <laughs> yeah. And then I was like, maybe. And then we have the whole moment and spoilers for Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. You've never seen it. It's also a fantastic book. Um, but, you know, Charlie gives the gobstopper back and then he's able to inherit the, the factory. And there's that moment. And that gobstopper is the equivalent of the cheeseburger. Does it come with fries? <laughs> yeah. regular or crinkle cut <laughs> yeah get it to go oh, but anyway man. so that was what i first had so i don't know we should maybe do like a side-by-side -side viewing and see if there's any parallel scenes i'm really curious i that that would be pretty goddamn funny that is a great comparison that i really didn't consider <laughs> until you kind of just laid it out there for me i love the rabbit holes you tend to fall down yeah, it makes not it makes watching movies with me not enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> because sometimes I'll listen back to these episodes and you'll be describing what's going on in the film and it'll be and I'll be like, that's what happened? That's what happened in that scene? Cause like I'm in a different plane. I'm thinking about something weird or I'm distracted by a shiny object, you know, but that's why I That's love a, Killer Clowns so much. Bright, bright lights and bright tubing and yeah. balloons and ball pits. Wait a minute. Did you didn't you have something you wanted to talk about about Killer Clowns? This is the first thing on my list for uh yeah. at this point five. Uh so not only is there a Texas Chainsaw Massacre video game uh that recently came out. So I mean, here's what kills me. So they recently, a couple years ago, they put out the Friday the 13th game. And everyone's telling me it's great, it's great, it's great. And I get that and all, but it, you can only play it if you're I mean, I got Xbox, so I gotta pay the monthly service. And I don't play video games often. I may may get one game a year, like I said, when the new Doom game comes out or when the new Mortal Kombat comes out. I'll get it. I'll play it for a couple weeks and then I don't play it forever. So I don't have the monthly subscription. So mm. I didn't get to play Friday the 13th. And 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 Texas Chainsaw Massacre came out, and I'm and I'm not able to play Texas Chainsaw Massacre. However, I do believe, and like I don't know, I didn't check my notes as probably good as I should have, but I know for a fact they are releasing a Killer Clowns video game. Mm -hmm. Um, shout outs to where Killer Clowns episode, which we just completed part one and two of In Madness Pod. Make sure you check those out. But they are releasing a Killer Clowns video game, and I've seen the trailers for it all over the socials. I will post it on our socials when we put this episode up. But you can play. I've seen the the, the you know video gameplay from it where you could play as the clowns killing people, or you could play as the people running away from the clowns. Um, mm. Again, I don't know if this is a monthly subscription game. I don't think it is. I want I want it to just be a physical game that I can buy and download and put in my system and not have to pay the monthly thing. If it is, then I'm just going to pay the monthly thing for like two months, play the game as much as I can, and then and then probably cancel. But yes, there is a Killer Clowns video game finally, and like like you said, it was caught up in like hell with a sequel, and it was just impossible to get done. And I think this this video game was the same thing getting the licensing and getting the rights and getting all that stuff to it was i think a huge pain in the ass but yes it is finally coming out and they got the cotton candy gun mm. and they got the popcorn gun and you could probably put the little popcorns and things and make the little goblin baby things 
um so cool uh, it, it looks like it's going to be so much fun with the sound if it's got the sound effects it's got the clown language i'm sure they do the cre- creepy I, 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 I like the laugh that they do <laughs> maybe you can even do the the hand puppet to, that would be so cool to just like i think maybe you'd find the game a lot more entertaining than oh i found the movie entertaining are you a video game that are you a video the, game uh, player do you play video games uh i have but not extensively if you know my schedule at all you know there's so what a was lot like of the last, what was like drawing of lines <laughs> what do you think the last video game you played was i don't know i mean i used to be a huge madden i used to play madden football like genesis like crazy no on playstation okay yeah on playstation madden PS2, PS3, probably. Yeah. Uh, yeah, PS3 for sure. Uh, I would play Madden. I played a lot of like the sports games because I'd get frustrated over like the adventure ga- games and not being able to accomplish things. And they and a sports game you could turn on, play a game, and turn right back off and have more time to do other stuff. There's nothing I hate more than getting stuck in a game and wanting to figure out and being like, I'm not going to Google it. I'm not going to Google it. I'm not going to Google it. And then like yeah. that battle of do I do it or do I not? And I just sit here and suffer and keep dying over and over again. I periodically see games and I have, you know, a bunch of friends who are gamers and we're like, oh, you should, you know, try this game and, you know, you can play online with them. And I, often we'll see games where i'm like oh that's so cool like there's this lovecraft game that i could get or there's a there's alien games that are really cool and I'm like that'd be really neat and then i just realized that I, I won't get anything done if that if that's what i do so i just end up not doing it. i need something that you could kind of dip back and forth into very easy i will say the killer clowns game looks like it's going to be on ps5 for windows xbox and Xbox One, so I think you'll be okay with being able to buy it. Seems I like better. It better not just be the online subscription because I really want to play that Texas Chainsaw Massacre game. Everyone's playing it. Everyone's talking about it. And I'm like, God damn it, God damn it, damn it. But again, like you, I don't have much time to be sitting around playing freaking video games either. It is another thing that I'm gonna have to squeeze into my very slim schedule. And, you know, when am I going to be able, if I start playing video games, when am I going to have time to watch Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? And compare it to the horrors. And compare it to the menu, right? That's just not going to happen. One of my favorite things about our menu episode, I mean, I don't want to ruin it for everybody, but just vertebrae's take on what he thought was going to happen in the movie. Uh, Yeah. It's one of my favorite (laughs) things about it. Make sure you check out our menu episode. Very funny. What was the other thing you wanted to bring up for this point five? Well, uh, it's out there already, um, and when you're listening to this, it will be a few weeks away from it, but uh, I will be back at Comic-Con this year, at New York Comic-Con, and it's been a few years, uh, but I would say I went had a booth nine years in a row, I think it was, before the pandemic, um, so I'll be back. Sean has gone with me before and appeared at the booth. Uh Back when he was just a really cool radio celebrity before we did the did this podcast together. So that means, and if you don't know, uh, New York Comic Con is October 12th to the 15th. Um, <clears throat> probably if you don't have tickets while you're listening to this, you're not going to be able to get them. But maybe you can uh, in a secondary market. Um, the Saturday of that, October 14th, Sean will be there with me. And we will have In Madness Saturday at the booth. So I'm there. If you don't know, if you've been listening, you don't know. I'm an artist. I have my own merch line. So I'll be selling T-shirts and uh, some artwork. And I've got a couple things up my sleeves, new things to release as well. I have other guests that are there. I'm working on a few things. Um, But big guest for that Saturday will be Sean. We'll be doing a little recording so if you listen to this podcast and you've ever listened to an episode, come up and, and follow me on social at vertebrae33. It'll get all the booth info. Um, once it's official, um, there'll be a floor, you know, a planner, exhibit planner on their website, and you can see where it's located. But come up to the booth, tell us that you listen to the podcast. Hell, we'll record something with you for the podcast. Maybe you'll be on the next on uh, one of our upcoming episodes right. in madness. So uh i will be out in public 
the rare, rare appearance. I'll have to bring you a goddamn sandwich from Mission yeah. to the Comic Con so, booth. So, so I'll, I'll not only be in public, but like it, four days in a row with like you a can lot actually shake people. this man's hand. Yes, or give him yes. the fist bump. I don't know if he does the handshake. Yeah, we'll figure that out. Yeah. I don't know. Post yeah, pandemic, strange, strange times, strange times. Yeah, I bring a lot of Purell with me, so I'm okay. Yeah. I, yeah, way. It'll be the booth playing Enter Sandman. Yeah, so we do. Uh, for many years, I did the booth, and I did it with Metal Sucks and Metal Injection. Uh, that's how I originally met Sean was through was through this booth at Comic Con, um, and we would have different guests over the years. And one year we had. Um, Guitars from Testament. We had D. Snyder come and appear at the booth one year, which was pretty amazing. We had the artist Paul Booth. Um, and the D. Snyder thing was wild because they didn't, uh, Comic Con didn't sort of prepare for that many people showing up to see D. And we had told them, hey, there's probably going to be like a lot of people. So, and that morning he was on the Today Show because he was on one of those shows at the time and he was actually promoting a show tunes album um so he I came think he was the... on broadway for a while these yes days. Yeah. yeah and but he was on one of those other reality type shows or something at the time so he was on the today show in the morning and then came to new york comic-con with his manager who was very old school rock and roll manager he was awesome uh but there was no security so a buddy of mine who was there uh gets to tell the story that he was uh d snyder security for a day and he just stood with his arms folded very and, cool and waved people over to the booth but we blocked other booths with the line and they, they i'm sure everybody was complaining yeah I mean, it was a whole thing and then the next day they came around and were like well, well who do you have as a guest today and i was like well not anybody bigger than d snyder so you guys missed out but i don't know that we'll have any guests certainly uh, every year it's billed as the most metal booth at the con. So we've had people spin spin by and say hello. Brendan Small from, you know, uh, Death Clock has, has stopped by. Brian Poussain has stopped by. Corey Taylor from Slipknot has stopped by in the past. So I don't know if people will be there and we'll get them to spin by. But that doesn't matter because if you listen here, you spin by and say hello and you come through be part and of the in madness family and make sure you're following vertebrae 33 on all the socials stop what the fuck you're doing right now follow the man on instagram follow him on facebook follow him on twitter um support support good art and good artists motherfuckers working hard out there busting his ass at comic con no small task doing four days of comic-con because it's not four days it's six days because it's load in the day before and load out the day after right oh it's it's load in the day before it's load out sunday night actually so it's do the four after busting ass sunday. for four days yeah. yeah but it's it's awesome i'm super excited to see there's people that i would see every year there that come back and buy shirts for me that i just haven't seen because i wasn't there so now there are a few people have already reached out to say they got to come by so i'm excited to to see a lot of these people um and just say hello and kind of get myself back into that world i have no idea now where my booth will be they probably put me in the dirtiest dingiest corner in the whole place that's where in madness belongs but yeah. that's okay and and that was a long way to say yes we play metal music at the booth that was kind of what we did when i did the booth with metal injection and metal sucks the joke would be uh if you play enter sandman you end up selling a t-shirt and that happened almost every single time if you play it. sandman they will come <laughs> Yeah, I didn't want to say it on recording though, because I feel like Lars. Maybe I'd have to give. Ah, uh, nah, he'd love it. They're they're cool. They're all they're cool about that stuff now. And Metallica's hit. Metallica's the best. I think Metallica's still on tour right now when this podcast drops. I just saw them eighty thousand people in New Jersey MetLife Stadium. One of the craziest shows ever. Much love to Metallica from Id Madness Pod. And as long as they play songs from my Meta favorite Metallica album and Justice for All, we're good. Uh, I think they did. I think they did. Mm -hmm. Uh, I can't That's... remember which one they played, but I'm positive that they did. You were going to talk me out of that. Oh, yeah. We were going to fight Metallica. <laughs> yeah. So Vertebrae <laughs> says his favorite is Justice, which has no bass on it. And being a bass player, I'm strongly opposed oh. uh, to a to a bottomless album, as we would call it, a low end uh, disaster. Um, uh, Master of Puppets is a flawless album from beginning to end. However, 
Uh, I, I mean, I love my, my, my trifecta for Metallica albums. It's Ride the Lighting, Master of Puppets, and Aunt Justice for, I mean, even Black Album, because uh, mm-hmm. that's all bangers. Um, um, but Blackened, which, which is the opener for Aunt Justice for All, might be my favorite Metallica song ever, even oh, though it's not on Master of Puppets. However, I did hear, I think, I think it's maybe hearsay and conjecture, but I think that Blackened was written as part of the Master of Puppets sessions, but they didn't they didn't use it till the and justice for all sessions mm. um because it still has it is that the weirdest album it's one of their weirdest old albums right like but i it's, love it it's very I love proggy it. i i i like it a lot okay a lot. okay so do it so for the in madness playlist i'm gonna pick a puppet song and mm-hmm. you actually know i'm just gonna add blackened what 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 justice song do you want to add to the in madness playlist oh i gotta think about that i'll surprise people all right yeah yeah tell me you gotta text it to me i'm gonna i'm gonna when we post this episode i'm gonna be like watch What's your justice song? I say Dyer's Eve, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pick your song. Dyer's Eve is that's mm. the last song. It's one of the best ones. Mm. Um so good. You're just so gonna good. name you're just gonna name them all until every I agree song. With you yeah, on one yeah. Of them. yeah. <laughs> we're gonna we'll, we'll add some uh, Metallica and Justice for All to In Madness Pod. Um was that so Comic Con? We're gonna be a Comic Con. We're party. So Comic-Con. we're gonna be a Comic Con. That's gonna be October Saturday, October 14th. Sean and I will be there. And this is news to Sean, but he knows this because he's come in the past all day. It's 10 to 7. We may step out to get something to eat. Well, yeah. not both of yeah. us at the same time. Sometimes we'll I've left Sean at the booth by himself in the past. And that's <laughs> then I put on I put on Sanguasugabog pissed oh, and, and everybody has skin cushion yeah. and everybody yeah. hates me. And then and then and then yeah. vertebrae comes yeah. back and I'm like, oh, Metallica. No, but just, no shirt from sales. Justice for all. Yeah. yeah, no shirt sales. If you put I think I sold a couple sales. shirts. I think I've you sold did. a couple you shirts did. before. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But come by, come hang out, say hello. Um, we'll, we're gonna be doing some recording when we're there. We hope to get other people on mic. So Come by. We'll pull you inside the booth so you don't have to stand in the aisle. And if you you walk up and tell us you listen to In Man this pod, we're we're gonna treat you like a million bucks. So. Do you think there'll be any like In Madness like stickers or something? I think we'll have something. Do you think yeah. I uh, maybe yeah. some stickers? Yeah, we'll have something for yeah. sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Um, really quick, I had uh, another thing. Our buddy, our buddy, our personal friend of the in madness show james cameron david oh. fincher oh, oh 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 director of such movies as seven right mm-hmm. our seventh episode of in right. madness pod make sure you check that out also director oh. of what my other favorite alien movie uh, alien three correct One three soon yeah. be covering on in madness pod david fincher putting out a brand new movie mm-hmm. it is called killer it features one of my favorites, Michael Fassbender, who is a huge metal fan. Uh, I read in an interview once sitting in a doctor's office, like he just shouted out Sepultura beneath the remains and arise for no goddamn reason in an interview. And I was like, what? What? Mm. Um, he is. I mean, I don't, I don't really know what the movie's about because I hate watching trailers because they ruin everything. So I watched the first 30 seconds of a trailer, unless it's the new Godzilla trailer, which I'll get into in a second. But I don't watch many trailers. But the synopsis, I guess, is says after a faithful near miss, an assassin battles his employers and himself on an international manhunt he insists isn't personal. And the trailer is just fast bender, and you hear him talking. Don't change the plan. Don't trust anybody. Don't stray from the plan. Don't uh, no no unplanned the, you know uh, movements or anything. I mm. love Fastbender. He's great as David in Prometheus. Uh, he is great in Inglorious Bastards. He is great as fucking Magneto in X Men. Everything Fastbender touches turns to gold, and dude is a metalhead. He is an amazing actor. And I mean, we lo- I love David Fincher and I have seen this movie popping up and I'm like, this, this is what's up. I don't know if there is a release date for it. Hmm. I can look that up right now, but uh, I will tell you that if you're listening to this podcast, oh, I got it. It would have already come out. Maybe. Uh, so it's uh, October 27th. Oh, I have it as September. 
Well, so it says the killer premiered at uh, the Venice International Film Festival ah. September 3rd. It's scheduled for a limited, so I'm reading Wikipedia, sorry if this is all wrong, uh, a limited theatrical release on October 27th before streaming on November 10th, 2023 on Netflix. So, Vertebrae, you don't got to come to the movies with me. You don't got to leave the goddamn house. Yay. You can watch the killer. And if we dig it, maybe we maybe, maybe we barbarian flip it and, and do a quick new you know in Madden's okay episode. november 10th yeah yeah maybe we save it because i know we got our halloween our one year halloween uh our one year oh. christmas uh special planned out and i'm very mm. excited about that um but yeah d- shout out david fincher shout out michael fassbender this movie the killer it looks really cool uh, i'll post the the trailer on the in madness socials if you've seen it if you think it looks cool if you're a david fincher fan again hit us on the socials at in madness pod twitter instagram threads facebook youtube um everything we're everywhere uh was there anything else you want to bring up before i brought up my final thing for point uh five seventeen point five in madness pod no, I'll just say though, just looking really quickly, the music, the soundtrack is Atticus Ross and Trent Reznor for The Killer. Sick. So it's going to also be a pretty great uh, soundtrack as well. Shout out Nine Inch Nails. So didn't wasn't the opening of Seven a Nine Inch Nails song? Yes. Mm. Gnarly bits. And we also had in 30 Days at Night, we had an evil Trent Reznor. Evil Trent Reznor uh, uh, vampire. Yeah. No, that's it. Come see us at Comic-Con. Come hang out. We'll uh, You'll get to see us in person October 14th. I got one more thing. Okay, I'm ready. The biggest event, bigger than Killer Clowns from Outer Space, bigger than In Madness Point Five. The biggest movie of the year, possibly, possibly the biggest Godzilla movie ever. Oh, they have released the full trailer. I mean, and this is we're recording this a couple of weeks after the trailer has come out. But if you didn't know, maybe you're not, you know, you don't you don't have phone your phone glued to your face 24 hours a day. And you had no idea because you don't follow all the kaiju news sources that I follow on Twitter and Instagram religiously, they have released the full trailer for Godzilla minus one, the Japanese made Godzilla movie, not the American made Godzilla movie, not the King Kong versus Godzilla or any of those King of the monster Godzillas that recently came out, which I do love, but they are not these. Um, This is the Japanese Godzilla movie. The last Japanese Godzilla movie was Shin Godzilla, which is in my top three of Godzilla movies. One I hope we will be reviewing soon on it madness pod um and i cannot wait for this new movie to come out is coming to theaters in america december 1st i think it's releasing in japan november something um it looks so good the dude who did the soundtrack is the same dude who did the soundtrack for shin godzilla this shin godzilla soundtrack i cannot wait till we do that movie because some of the songs on there are so good i cannot wait to add them to in madness pod but i'm not going to do it until we do the episode but the trailer looks so good and uh they have the japanese version and there's one english subtitles uh i i don't want to you know no spoilers or anything but like the story is so cool and it's just like a new it's like batman and that's what i'm loving is that they can do this batman thing with godzilla where they can put out a new movie and here's a different take on it and here's a new godzilla movie but here's a different take on it and it's like it can be the same character but a different take on the character each time and i'll go and watch every goddamn one and especially mm. like the dudes making it like they're like me they love it so they know what's going to be cool and they know how to make the story better and less of a cheesy human element and how to make the music better and like you know they we want the iconic roars and like they're going to give us those moments where you're like yeah uh, mm. and I, I that happens in shin godzilla and if you watch this new new trailer man it 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 gives me that same feeling i i love it i absolutely love it it's so so damn cool to see I love awesome that yeah i watched the trailer a few times i'm i'm ready let's do it yeah man yeah uh this new shin this new godzilla movie minus one uh i cannot wait to check that out i will drag vertebrae out of his house <laughs> kicking and screaming if i have to 
so we can finally see a movie together, eat a sandwich together, do a Comic Con together. Um, right. And we talked about a movie called Minus One on a 0.5 episode. There's a lot of math in this episode. Yeah. Godzilla minus one on a 0.5. I was so confused when we did T2 part two. I like, oh, I listened to part two. They're like, well, part two of what? And like, T2 part two. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Thank you. Episode 16, T2 part two. Point five in madness pod. None of these numbers matter. It's just so we can keep a hold of what the hell's going on. Um, that's it. That's all I got. The new killer movie, the new killer clowns game, and the new Godzilla trailer. Shout outs vertebrae, uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory versus the menu. Uh, play them next to each other like Wizard of Oz. We got to do something. I'll have to figure something and out. With Pink that. Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon next to each other, oh, and they'll they'll God. sync together perfectly. And we will be at Comic Con October what? It's like Saturday, October fourteenth. I mean, I'll be there uh, the twelfth through the fifteenth. Sean will be there on the Saturday, so certainly we won't be recording on other days because it'll just be me and Sean is the recording genius. Um. But uh, I have a recorder thing on my phone, right? So maybe I could, if somebody happens to come up and says they listen to the podcast, I could just yeah, get them. Yeah, and I could, I could there. pop that in. Yeah, yeah. yeah let's so, let's let's so test you can that still out. Come up any day and say you listen to the podcast. But if you want to actually get real life in person proof that we're out in public together, that'll be your place to do it. You have to go all the way to the Javits Center in Manhattan to do it. But we'll be listen. There. It's close to Penn Station. No matter, I feel like where you are in the tri-state area, getting to Penn Station is just like a train ride away. And then it's like, I don't know, probably a 10 block walk to the Javits Center, but it is right by Penn Station, which is like the central mm -hmm. hub for everything. So yeah, it, 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 it's like it's down there, but it's not too far down there. So it's easy enough to get to and come through, hang out. It is the nerd heaven, nerd convention. Everyone's at San, San Diego Comic-Con. I've never been to. That is like a bucket list for me. Uh, but New York Comic Con is awesome, and and being able to get awesome toys and T-shirts and all this shit that's available in one spot is uh, one of my favorite parts of the year. It's one of my highlights of the year. Awesome! Uh, well, so thank shallow. you very much for everybody listening. Yes, thank you for listening. Thank you for being part of In Madness Monday or In Madness anytime you listen to this show. Shall we tease officially? Mm -hmm. Our next episode, are you going to zag me again when you're going to uh, zig me again? Uh, I can't. I can't do it to you again. Uh, but I, I will tease. I'll just say that there's a, there's a cabin. <laughs> what the fuck? There's a cabin involved in the movie in some way. I didn't give it away. Uh, okay, I said yeah. there's a cabin involved in the movie. Evil Dead, I'm thinking, immediately. Right. There's a cabin involved in the movie. <laughs> and that's that's our hint for episode. It's going to be 18. <gasps> We're almost 20 episodes into this. We're wow. almost a year into this show. How crazy is that? It's crazy. Um, thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much for participating again on the social. Tell, tell your friends to check this show out. Maybe they'll be into it. In Madness Pod on all of the socials, no matter what you have. Check out the YouTube. We post every one of these podcasts up on YouTube. Um, make sure you check out the In Madness playlist. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, five stars, perfect rating, whatever you want. Um, get involved. This is fun celebrating this this culture we have created and that has already been created that we are just all getting together and nerding about. But I love the community that we have and uh, it's great having these milking of the alpacas moments and these point fives. And mm. hopefully we'll meet some of you out of Comic-Con. It's going to be great. I'm looking forward to the cabin somehow being involved in our next movie. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is Sean the Butcher and Vertebrae 33 signing off for episode 17.5 <laughs> of In Madness Pod.